Scorpio, what I do, I hope you're doing very well. I hope you're good. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is when this video finally reaches you. You guys make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the hate. I appreciate all of it. Um, this is going to be a free general read for my Scorpio babes. If you haven't made a personal reading, that information is always in the description box below, as well as my PayPal link, my Cash App link, and whatever else you need. Um, Spirit, I'm going to get clear and precise messages. The rest of my angels, ancestors, God, block interferences and negativity. Return to the center where it belongs. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. I just had the craziest freaking weekend. Um, I, I, I drove to the city and, I, well, for, first I got surprised at work when an old friend popped up that I haven't seen in forever. He's really more like family. He's not just a friend. He's like a really fucking good friend. He took care of me whenever I had COVID. He might have been the one to give me COVID, but the point is he took care of me whenever I had it. Um, and then I drove to the city and I got to hang out with like all my family at once. I got to see them all at once. They all work out of town and they all have their own lives. And my stepdad, I haven't seen him in probably like five or six years. And I got to stop at each place and, and I caught each one of them and it was, it wasn't even planned. And I got to see all of them. Oh my God. It was so good to see like all my people from my past and they were so happy I'm mean, it's like asking my brother like uh, it was just so good because he looks so good and you know when you haven't seen someone in a long time you don't know what they're gonna look like or what they're gonna be into and it was so good to see people um and then I get home I didn't get home till like midnight and then all fucking hell breaks loose I wake up, my child is covered in poison ivy, poison oak, poison something, which I'm kind of used to, but it still freaks me out. So I'm like washing everything and drying, drying everything and spraying everything and cleaning. And then I fucking go to brush my teeth and realize that one of my freaking teeth chipped, probably from grinding it in my tooth, in my sleep. And then I get a doorbell ring and I go out there in this freaking giant tree from the next door neighbor's land fell and it like here's my car and it fell like this like if I would have parked in the next spot in my driveway or if someone else would have just come over to my house like by the skin of my teeth literally but like what the fuck in the middle of the night it just all hell broke loose I mean Luckily, I have a great dentist. I can get that taken care of. The tree, if it would have been six inches, it would have shattered my sunroof. Like, just boom. It didn't, didn't do anything. Um, luckily, thank you, God. But, and then, like, seeing everyone, getting to see everyone. Y'all just don't understand. But it's like, I've really, really, really been working on my karma for the last year since I lost everything. And it's just like, it shows. Like, when he said, hey, um, a part of the tree fell and it's touching your car, I just woke up, so I imagined it would be like a branch. You know what I mean? No, it was the tree. Felt like on its side, it was a taller than my car, but barely missed it. I was like, damn, another bullet dodged. There's a piece popping out for you guys. You could be really focused on that. The first planet you have showing up for you guys is Mercury, so you probably have a lot of stuff from the past coming around. Something, though, could be making you feel, like, uneasy or something seems, like, dramatic and it's messing with your peace. So you could be in a place of having to choose, like, do I choose the drama or do I choose the peace? Like, the drama might feel good for a moment, but does it fuck with my peace? You know what I mean? Something like that. All right. I was like, man, why is life always going to be so, my life anyway, why is it going to be so fucking extreme? I can't just have an amazing weekend just being embraced and tomorrow I start working at a place where like the whole crew loves me and I love them and it saves me so much gas. Like, can I not just be blessed for a minute? And then, but I think he's, I think God's trying to be like, yo, I don't think you are seeing how blessed you are. Like, if that was crazy. A super close call. All right. The first message you have is. Psalm 1611. So, oh, that's my birthday. Someone could be born November 16th. Me too. 
Somebody could be born the 11th, somebody could be born the 1st, somebody could be born the 6th, the 7th, the 2nd. It says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. On the back it says, O God of love and forgiveness, fill my heart with the spirit of Jesus that I will be quick to return love for evil. Karma! Like, let me say it again for the people in the back. Coffee. That's <laughs> like my third. Woo. Mm. Fuck. I'm a, me I'm a mess. I'm a little messy right now. Okay. It says, O God of love and forgiveness, so fill my heart with the spirit of Jesus that I will be quick to return love for evil. So... You, that is, that is like the utmost peace. No matter what's going on around you right now, re returning evil to sender and replacing it with love has probably got you and, and your being blocked from trees falling on top of you and embraced by many arms that love and adore you. But I see you having some major fucking trust issues with something, or you just feel like, man, this is dramatic. It's messy. It messes with my peace. It messes with my my lone wolf self. You could be feeling like that, especially with the past here, like big time past energy. What's today? Today is, okay, so we have three days until the full moon. You might be seeing this at the time of the full moon. A Sagittarius full moon as well, so buckle up. <laughs> you could be dealing with someone that has a lot of Sag in their chart or multiple people that have a lot of Sag in their chart. Okay, what's coming in for my Scorpio? What and who is coming in? What's going on? What's affecting y'all? Leo. Capricorn. Aquarius. Every time. What is the deal with y'all? Literally, every time. Capricorn. If Aquarius is meant to stay out, it will. Who else? Semi Sagittarius. Some of y'all need to check on a Leo. You could definitely be dealing with an Aries. There's someone that has a lot of Aries in their chart. Of Pisces, Neptune. Aquarius with Capricorn and Pisces there. Uranus, Aquarius energy. And Aries. Someone, I'm telling you, somebody's got a lot of Aries in their chart here. I can just feel it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. There's Aquarius again. A lot of Earth here. Earth and Aries, a lot of it. I'm hearing an old song from the 90s. I heard a song today, earlier, whenever I was driving, and I really fucking jammed out to it. My mom used to have all the Aerosmith CDs, but um, she loved the big one CD, so she would listen to it all the time when I was like five. And I know like every lyric from that CD because I was five and listened to it every day. But the song that I just heard a second ago is, he says, And how can... Tell me how to let you go. Tell me how's the pain supposed to go. Tell me how it is that you can sleep in the night without thinking you lost everything that was good in the life, in your life to the toss of a dime. So you feel like somebody's fucking risky and they're about to fucking lose you, or, or you're, or like you, you've watched multiple people um, get karma for for doing you dirty. Tell me how it is that you can sleep in the night 
Without thinking, you lost everything that was good in your life to the toss of a dime. And you feel like these people make stupid ass choices. They would, they would make decisions that will cause them to lose everything good in their life at the toss of a dime. You know what I mean? Like, they, like okay, so emphasis on that for you guys. It's coming in for squirt. Okay. Maybe I got that yesterday. Let me shuffle a little more. What was that yesterday? So somebody, somebody cares a lot about you. You feel like they're unreliable. Or you care a lot about someone, but you feel like they're unreliable. Okay, it's coming in. Projection. This person could be really good at it, or multiple people around you could be really good at it. I just sweat. Fortuous, yeah. That's a good thing about energy. Aura, observation. When people try to throw um, negativity your way, or even think about you in a negative way while you're being innocent, pure, genuine, naive most of the time, um, they will end up going through hardship while 1116, so there's a lot of importance here about 1116. It's on the card, it's on the time. Um, but you're having really good fortune while this shit's ricocheting off the mirror back to them. It's coming in. Tell me that you're happy that you're all alone. Smoke. Prayers. So somebody is like thinking about you so much that it's becoming ritualistic. It's becoming a prayer. Somebody's like manifesting you. Yeah, focus. Tell me that you're happy that you're all alone. Focus, Scorpio. Baby, can you focus? Um, let's see. And then, whenever I get out of my car, I took my son to the doctor to get him taken care of, and then I get out of the car, and the neighbors are, like, helping get the tree and everything swept up. It's great. And I'm like, thank you. And right when me and my kids say thank you, I drop my favorite mug, and it shattered. <laughs> like, what? I don't know what's going on. I told my son, I don't know what's going on with the energy today, but I'm freaking over it already. But I am very glad that I'm now in a place that when this stuff happens, I'm just laughing. I'm very glad that I can now drop my favorite mug and laugh or see a tree on my car and laugh because a year ago, yeah, it probably would have put me in the hospital. Telepathy and falling in love when I split the deck. So you and someone care a lot about each other, but you could be blocking it out, trying to focus on other things because you feel like it's messy. Yeah. <laughs> This person may also be learning from you and your energy that they're drawing on karma onto themselves. Because that's smoke and fire. They're, and it's projection of smoke and fire as well. This has got something to do with somebody from your past too. Hopefully though, Scorpio, yeah, Homeland, something from the past. Try as hard as you can because I know you got some kind of trust issues and triggers popping up. But really try not to take what your past has done to you out on whoever is around you now. Somebody's like, I'm not, I hate everybody equally. Like, <laughs> Sanctuary, privacy, inviolate, personal space, respect the boundaries and taboos. You could be really, really focused on your peace, your private place. Um, Um, someone also feels like, or like, you feel like someone or something is taboo. Like, hey, I'm not supposed to do this. This devil energy. Observation. 
Okay, so too much is hidden from you, so you're sitting back and observing. You're not you're not asking, you're not wishing, you're not hoping, you're not praying, you're you're observing because you don't trust something or someone. Smoke and prayers. Well, somebody wants to get you pregnant or like thinks that you would be a good candidate to be a mom or to be, to be pregnant. You got this one yesterday too, reclaiming your authenticity, but what is this prayers for? What's the smoke about? Oh, yeah, someone is, cannot stop thinking about you. Naked. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Making love, erotic, divine sensuality, number 22, 111 and 222 have been popping up for y'all a lot, which is going from one is the loneliest number, two can be as bad as one. Look, you're stuck. You're stuck like Chuck between what the fuck am I supposed to choose here? Do I choose myself? I'm amazing. I'm successful. I'm awesome. Yeah. Cleanse my space. Focus on myself. Focus on my mirror. Focus on my reflection. Or do I... Oh, do I... <laughs> do I just fall into what's so obvious and clear it's transparent but this person gets me vulnerable they're seducing me that's straight up what it says you're about to go from this free solitude place of solitude to either you're seducing or you're being seduced but it makes you fucking scared because you feel fucking vulnerable you might be honest with someone or, or multiple people this could be have something to do with family or a job as well that um you could just be honest transparent that like this makes me feel unsafe you make me feel unsafe number five song of the siren the call summoning the voice to acknowledge vulnerability open your heart allow yourself to be tender and number two, again, transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, and present. But I see you kind of being a rebel in your own right. You like to rebel. I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all day with Steven Tyler's fucking scatting and screaming. Let go, let go, let go. Tell me that you're better when you're all alone. Somebody, has, somebody has got their eyes on you. I don't think you're even aware how much it's an Earth sign. But I don't think you're even aware. Black cat, good luck. This person sees you as lucky. They see you as good luck. They see you as fortuitous. I don't think you are even aware how much uh, obsessive energy is around you right now. This person can't help it. They are like laser fucking focused on you and you're very focused on, I guess, fun, passion, flirt, flirtatious. telling you so you got people from the past watching you as well but then you got people that aren't from the like you have a lot of eyes on you all I can see is this whole side over here it's just eyes staring summoning watching telling watching there's a lot of eyes on you investigating stalking I'm telling you and projection. 
There's also negative energy being sent your way, but you're being kept safe. Respected boundaries. Yep. That's that. And you could probably feel some negativity on you if you're having a day like, like that, where as soon as you wake up, it's like bad news, but it's like, oh, fuck, it missed me. Bad news, but I'm not breaking out at all. You know, more bad news. Well, fuck, I'm gonna have to buy another one that you like. You know what I mean? All right, what's coming in with projection and sanctuary? You could be projecting a little bit too. We'll see, we'll see. That was a lot. We got blocking, Libra, jackpot, twin. Some of y'all have somebody from your past that lives to try to block you, thinking that they won, but it what they won is toxic and they have always and will always be you know uh, on, on on the side or something like that okay anyway. sanctuary just one please Didn't this come out as well? I got into you. I also saw commitment. Low IQ, fake emails and text, lust. Marriage, talking shit, spirit. So, being protected from a lot of stuff from your past. What's the unseen? With observation and the unseen. Yeah, and you could just be observing someone and feel like you're too fucking secretive. Like, yeah, you're there. Some, it's like if you even have to worry about it, you don't want to. The unseen with observation. So this blocking card keeps wanting to show up with Libra. This 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 person or. This situation could be popping up. Some of y'all could have a Libra in your baby dad. Good girl and sex. Oof, so some, some, someone knows that someone is like lusting after you and they live to like interfere with it. Um, they are bound to get bored with that position. You know, they, they already are, but It's affecting you some kind of way because they're some, sending some kind of negativity your way. You could also have another Libra showing up in your life that's putting a block up to something that you have going on. It, it could have to do with job or your job or something. Mm -hmm. Scene. Somebody could have, you know, parts of their life that they don't share with you because they're not proud of it.
the king, cruel intentions, tripping, and sick. Damn, caught a case, sabotaged, and returned to sender. So, some masculine? Some masculine, like maybe caught something, did something, has something, some kind of illness, could be mental, physical, sexual, whatever. But you dodged that shit. Sick, caught a case, sabotaged, and returned to cinder. Return to the wolf it belongs to. The unseen with observations coming in for Scorpio. And that's what that. Same shit, different day, lies, cheats, steals, and narcissists. This is how you feel about someone. They could be up to the same old shit that you've already been through. Lies, cheats, steals, and narcissists. You've already beaten this demon. And then with fake account, sh whenever that shows up a lot, it's usually, it doesn't have to be somebody watching you from a fake account or somebody checking on you from fake accounts. It can be someone portraying as if they are one person when they're not. They're a, a fraud, possibly a narcissist, but they are obsessed with you. Why, man, y'all always got a narcissist fucking obsessed with y'all, queen. That's why. All right, prayers and divine sensuality, drama. <laughs> King and queen keep showing up. Here's Aries energy again. Divine sensuality, smoke, prayers. So somebody is like praying to get to see you again. There's fake account, fake account showing up again. What is this prayer and divine sensuality? Yeah, you're like, you're tired of giving your energy or yourself PTSD to people who aren't who they claim to be. You're tired of giving your good to the bad. Like, you can love the evil, you can return it with love, but... Divine sensuality, smoke, inheritance, Some, someone wants what you got, they want to have you, What's the overall energy with focus, freedom, siren, vulnerability, and transparency? Investigating. It's got low vibe. Vulnerability, focus, freedom. Together again is wanting to come out. Yeah, you don't trust some. Oh shit, I'm telling you. So there's a lot of lust here. A lot of lust. Transparency. Freedom and transparency. Wow. Oh, shit. Bad health and unhealthy attachments at the same time. And then mean girl in the reverse with death. That's all your energy. Mean girl in the reverse and death. 
together, but bad health and, and unhealthy attachments like Somebody may be honest with you about maybe like some something that you feel like isn't isn't healthy. Brother and DNA test, something could have to do with your brother or something. Player. Aries again. <sighs> And these bad health and unhealthy attachment type of people could be coming your way, wanting to talk. You might not be expecting this. You might not be expecting someone or something to show up. You might feel like sleeping with someone, maybe lowering your vibe. There's some kind of truth coming out. Got Aries and Capricorn and Aries and Capricorn, that's crazy. Tradition, legacy, status, fame, I achieve, and then I am self-aware, appearance, first impression, beginnings. So somebody really cares like what you think about them as well. They want they want to impress you, they want to look a certain way, but if something is like triggering you. And you feel like they're not being authentic if they're trying to be something that is not them. I think you would much rather someone be like, yeah, I work my ass off, but on the weekends I like to smoke and drink, than to have someone be like, no, I never do anything. I just, I just work and I just make money and I'm just, you know, squeaky clean and it not be true. All right, let's come in for Scorpio. Oh, okay, that was... Holy shit. Someone's coming in quick, hot, and heavy. So somebody feels like you're cutting them off, so they're going to come in even quicker. Uh, your angels might be telling you to cut off some kind of devil energy as well. That was crazy, the way that that just shot out. Patterns, some kind of pattern. You can't fucking ignore it. You feel like it's fucking unhealthy. Capricorn, discipline, ambitious. Persistent as fuck. What's coming in with into you and Capricorn? You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn or have a lot of Capricorn in your chart. Attraction <laughs> with into you. Imagine that. What's this same shit different day? Uh, Aquarius energy, 11th house, networking, teams, invention, rebel. Aries, something about Aries and Capricorn energy, passion, anger, war, assertion, separation, competition, envy, desire, action, instinct, energy, attack, defend, pursue, impulsive. So you may be working with someone that is all of the above. What is this inheritance and planetary shifts, shaking up the monotony? I'm going to meditate on this for a minute. Oh my god, dude, y'all got a Capricorn like 
all up on you. Saturn, Capricorn, karma, order, structure, hard work, mature, professional, stewardship, discipline, time, creation, organizer, boundaries, commitment, materialize, slow pace, and stubborn. With third eye awakening, new levels of awareness are available to assist in the evolution. Do not shy away from a soul revolution. So it's it's it, it's meant it's meant for something. Whether it's meant to be a test or meant to be a fucking journey is the question. So what's the overall energy coming in with low vibe siren and focus? Someone's trying to fucking focus too, but they feel like you're seducing them. <laughs> uh, I serve creatively. Self-expression, creative, fertile. Vulnerability and sex. Contrasting. Dark, dark helps us see the light. Choosing wrong helps us know what was right. Freedom, transparency, bad health. Jupiter, Sagittarius, expansion, luck, wisdom, healing, influence, wealth, law, religion, higher education, big business, international travels. Somebody, you may be either changing locations or changing jobs completely. Um, get ready to move around a lot and then Libra, balance, diplomatic, harmonizing, chaos or creation. You also have Libra up there. So you're going to have to figure out how you're going to about to like tip these scales. Okay. I'm going to leave this here, meditate on it, and I will catch you guys in the tarot. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.